Hello everybody, welcome to the another method clip tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to make a multiple plot with a different size of axis using method clip in Python. So this is the final result. The data that I plot here is the unstructured triangular grid which I plot in three different axes, A, B, and C. As you can see, the size of axis in image A is larger than axis in image B and C. The plot in axis A show all the grid area while the plot in axis B is kind of zoom in in this narrow street and the plot in image C is the zoom in in this area down here. Okay, let us now move to Jupyter Notebook and create this figure. This is my Jupyter Notebook file. I already upload this Jupyter Notebook file into my GitHub repository. The link is available in the video description and you, you guys can download it for free. Let us import the libraries and create a single plot. So this is the plot of my unstructured similar grid. Next, we will create the multiple axes. On the previous tutorial video, we create the multiple axes using the plt.subplot function. We specify the total number of rows and columns using the end rows and end calls variables. This method allows us to create a multiple axis. However, as you can see here, the size of its axes are the same. In order to create a multiple axis, we need another method. And the concept in creating a multiple axis with different size of axis is we just need to merge this axis. Again, as in the previous video, we can think this process is creating a table and then merging some rows on or columns. In the final image result here, I create this image based on 4 by 3 axis. So the image A was created by merging of 4 rows and 2 column axis. And the image B and C was created by merging 2 by 1 axis. Let me show you the process here. The function that we will gonna use is this plt.subplot to grid function. First, we create the figure object using the plt.figure. Here, I set the figure size as 11 by 8 inch. Now, we create the first axis or the image A using the plt.subplot to grid function. The input here is save, loc, row span, and call span. Let me run this cell first and explain to you what is going here. Okay, I create one axis here. So the shape 4, 3 mean that I create a 4 rows and 3 column axis similar like this one, which is I create using the plt.subplots method. So next, the loz 0, 0 mean is the location. The 0, 0 mean is the first row and the first column or here in the top left corner. And then I specify the row span 4 and call span equal to 2. So this means that I'm merging 4 rows and two columns starting from here. To create image B, which is located around here, I need to merge these two axes. I will call this image B as the AX2, and similarly, I set the shape as 4 by 3, but now the location is 0 by 2. This is mean that the first row and the third column. Remember, in Python, the index is start from 0, and then I merge two rows using the row spans equal 2. Here, we don't need to specify the code span because we only use a single column. Let's I run the cell now. Perfect. We are successfully first the axis for image A and then we create the axis 2 or the axis for the image B. Next, for the image C, here I create the variable AX3 and using the plt subplot to grid function, I create the axis C. Here the shape is the same 4 by 3 but the location now is 2 by 2. This is mean is the third rows and the third column start from here and then I merge two rows using the row span equal to 2. Now let us rerun the cell. Okay, perfect. We are successfully creating three axes and the size is different. The axis, the first axis is larger than the second and the third axis. Once we create the axis, next we can add the data or plot the data into this axis. So in the first axis, I will plot the full unstructured triangular grid and the second axis here, I will plot also the unstructured triangular grid, but I will zoom in into this area using the x limb and y limb. Similarly here in the axis three down here, I will plot the unstructured triangular grid, but I will zoom in into this area around here using the x limit and y limit. Let's rerun this cell. Okay, good. We are successfully plot this unstructured triangular grid. So the, in the axis 1, I plot all the data and then AX2, I zoom in around here and in axis 3, I zoom in around here. 
finally in the last cell here i customize the ticks as well as the label from all the three axes and also i add a rectangle in this uh, larger image or the image a uh, line here i add a label and it's in line here i annotation text into its axis and finally the last line here we save the image okay let's rerun the cell okay thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial video